Keith, if this proposal were to pass, it could bring some relief to drivers at the pump. However, many people we spoke to say this tax credit is simply not enough. It takes Ernesto Arroyo 100 bucks to fill up his truck. Like many others, he's hoping for some relief at the pump. I'm actually considering hopefully my next truck will be an electric truck, <laughs> you know, because uh, this is, it's getting out of hand. But President Biden wants to help. Today I'm calling on Congress to suspend the federal gas tax for the next 90 days. If the proposal gets the green light, it would trim 18 cents off a gallon of gas and 24 cents from diesel. You know, 18 cents, you know, it, I'll take that. But honestly, until we see the prices back the way they were before, it's not really so much a relief. While every penny counts, I spoke to AAA of Texas and a economics professor from the University of Houston about what this could mean for customers. So saving anything at the pump, of course, as a driver is a welcome sight. Um, however, when we look at this particular legislation, um, there's still a lot of unclear uh, details. If we lower the tax, it's not necessarily the case that the price consumers pay at the pump is going to go down by 18 cents because consumers pay a piece of that tax, but so does the supply chain. And all along that supply is affected by that tax as well. Drivers say the gas tax credit is a temporary fix to a much bigger problem. Well, right now I'm paying $5.29 a gallon. So. You know, if we round that up to 20 cents savings, you know, what is that really doing for me? It's nothing. It's nothing. And I did reach out to our congressional delegation to see how they would vote on this proposal, but we have not heard back from them as of news time. President Biden would need support on both sides. Reporting live from Sugarland, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News.